G'day YouTubers, Pirate Pete coming at you from a fine night here in Sydney to talk about your favourite topic and mine, gold and silver. So I'm about a month into my stacking uh, experience and video sharing and I thought I'd do a bit of a recap on what I've uh, come across in this last month. So I've been stacking for about a month now and I've been making videos for about as long. I thought in this video here I'd do a couple of things. I thought I'd firstly share with you my treasure map which has in it everything I've learnt so far in this past month and uh, I'll finish it off by showing you what uh, has been my most expensive purchase um, in silver to date. So check it out. Now the first thing I've, I've learned is just watch everything you can on YouTube from the stacking community um, and interact with the folks. They're extremely friendly, very accessible. Um, they're uh, they'll answer any question, doesn't matter how dumb. So for any newbies looking to start out, you know, my suggestion is just watch everything you can and interact with all the stackers in the stacking community. Um, that's probably the, the best tip I can give you and I'll put that at number one. Okay, so number two, um, start with a specialty. There's, there's way too much to try and digest too quickly. So just pick a specialty. For me, it was kookaburras. I, I, I found it was a something that was accessible as well as of interest to me and uh, I just wanted to learn everything I could about the Kookaburra coin series uh, comes in all different mintages and all sorts of price ranges but you know start with a specialty focus in on it learn everything you can about it before you uh, try and diversify too much okay the next tip I've got is um, before you get into buying work out what your sell strategy would be for whatever you buy so Work out who it is that you're going to try and sell it to, whether it's a dealer or another collector, because that really should shape, I guess, what it is that you're going to buy. So work out where or who you're going to sell to first, and then start worrying about what you're going to buy. Alrighty, so the next tip I've got is, uh, if you're going to buy bullion, you want to buy it as close to spot as possible. Um, you don't want to pay too much of a premium for bullion. Um, however, there are some, some bullion which command a higher premiums and, uh, and lunas and, and, and kookaburras are examples of those. But um, as, a, as a general rule, just you want to buy bullion at, as close to spot as possible. It just increases your ability to sell it later at a profit to a greater audience. Alrighty, the next tip, use numismatics to hedge. Um, in a falling market so um, if you if you're like me and you're really looking just to acquire lots of ounces of silver uh, it is tempting just to buy a whole bunch of bullion um, however recognize we're in a falling market at the moment um, and therefore you do want to have a bit of a, a hedge um, and numismatic uh, coins uh, collectible items they're they're very good um, hedges in a falling market so um, whilst the uh, spot bullion has been falling um, steadily over a, a period of time um, these numismatic coins um, have been holding their value because of the premiums associated with the collectability of them so um, the strategy there is that I would um, acquire some numismatic coins um, as well as bullion purchases uh, as the spot price continues to fall um, I would I would just basically look to sell those numismatic coins um, and then with the proceeds acquire the cheaper bullion that has become available uh, the way it works in it as a hedge is if the uh, downtrend were to suddenly stop and reverse um, it means that I'll be buying bullion at a high price in the future but uh, those numismatic coins that I've been acquiring would also be going up in value anyway, so I could still sell them um, at, a, at a future price, uh, profitable price point to uh, offset the, the increase uh, in the bullion price in that scenario. So it's a, it's, it's a bit of a hedge uh, in a falling market and uh, I think pretty key for, uh, for any collector in the current environment. All right, so the next one is whether to buy gold or silver. Um, we've looked at gold-silver ratios um, in the first month that I've been doing videos. I think a lot of other stackers have talked about it. So get familiar with the gold-silver ratio. Right now, the standout for me is silver. I just think um, silver relative to gold um, as a price is a far more attractive 
um, prospect at this stage. All right, so the next one is, what's your profit making strategy? So um, are you looking to buy and hold for, for the long term? Are you looking to buy and flip in the short term? Is it a combination of both? Just work out where you're going to try and make your money. Um, at the end of the day, um, if it's going to be more than a hobby or if it's going to be something that you're going to invest a large amount of monies into, you really got to work out how you're going to profit from it. Um, don't lose sight of that objective if you want to make this sustainable. So work out what your profit making strategy is. All right, the next tip is, is understanding that low mintages and high demands will help make profits for you. So um, picking, picking a coin or, or a series or a set that has a, a relatively low uh, mintage and has historically been high in demand, they're pretty good areas to get involved in if you're looking to make a profit. Now the next tip is beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So um, just understand that um, um, everyone has different tastes and obviously uh, what's in fashion or in vogue or desirable can change over time um, and therefore the demand can be affected by that. But uh, beauty in the eye of the beholder, there's some, some things out there which you may not consider particularly attractive but uh, they are to others and therefore they can be highly profitable and collectible. But uh, having said that, I think the key message I'd come up with in the next point is just buy what you like. Don't worry too much about what everyone else likes. Don't worry about what they talk about or think. At the end of the day, it's yours. It's your investment. It's your silver. It's your, your gold. Buy what, you're, what you like. Buy what makes you happy. Um, and I think you can't go too wrong if you follow that general rule. Um, and the final tip I've got is um, there are some great deals that come up around Christmas time. Um, I think... Keep some powder dry, save some cash for Christmas time because you do get some, some great bargains that seem to appear um, for this time of year. And uh, if you're looking to buy um, a lot of ounces this, this month, December could be a great month to do it in. Um, I'm guessing next year will be exactly the same in the year after. So keep some uh, money in reserves to uh, buy up around Christmas time because that's when great deals come out. Now for the most expensive purchase I've made so far, it was by far the 94 uh, Kookaburra Proof Set. Um, I picked this up on, on an eBay auction um, in the last, uh, I think in the first week that I was uh, collecting and um, there's a one kilo coin there that just absolutely dwarfs everything else but you can see the 10 ounce, 2 ounce and 1 ounce but um, that one kilo coin just absolutely dwarfs them all. There's a, a thousand in total in this set, and this one here I think was number 792 uh, with a c c certificate of authenticity there as well. Now if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, why don't you show your support by joining the crew and we'll explore gold and silver together.